guys, Constantine here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's vlog, I'm going to be dealing with a very interesting situation. I agreed to help my friend who's training at a gym of Canadian legend of mixed martial arts, Mr. Lance Gibson. And um, I agreed to help and paint their main cage. And it's black right now. I'm going to be spraying it uh, with light gray color. Here are the three main issues that I'm going to be dealing with. Uh, first one is I can't take it all apart. It's all welded together. This cage is um, you know, Welded forever, so I'm gonna have to spray it in place. That's the issue number one second issue if I spray it in place I have to do something about contamination like the ceilings are super high so I can you know build some simple zip walls from floor to the ceiling out of plastic so I'm gonna have to do something about that second issue is odor uh, the products that are designed to be sprayed on metal tend to have really really strong odor so I'm gonna have to do something about that as well and um, the third issue is it has to be like super quick right because uh, you know guys are training and stuff like that so the paint has to be cured you know as fast as possible and it has to be in and out within, I don't know, a day or two. Not the first time when I'm dealing with some sort of a difficult situation, but I'm sure I can do that. And um, I really wanna do, you know, tremendous job so everybody's happy. And um, let's go figure that out. But first of all, I'm gonna do a lot of preps. Uh, I'm building these two. Uh, posts here kind of posts out of straps and then I'm gonna wrap it all with plastic build some plastic walls here to protect everything from overspray it's gonna be lots of work coming up all right so here's a quick overview of the uh, job site. This is the uh, main area here and here's what I built. Just a quick explanation. Uh, the ceilings are pretty high so I wasn't able to use the regular poles that I always use you know to build our zip walls. So here's what I did uh, this time. I used those uh, electrical Kind of uh, covers or whatever they are, those metal pipes. Um, right there, there's one over there, and there's the uh, sprinkler system up there. So I just hooked up my uh, straps um, from there and going down, and I used some heavy objects to, uh, you know, to push it down, to keep it down so it doesn't move. And uh, I basically wrapped the plastic around these things, these, you know, poles that I made. And also I used that huge post. As you can see, there's, there's, there's a post right there and the wall. So I just basically went around that wall and, uh, you know, put plastic all around. It's two layers of plastic. I don't know how wide this plastic is, but there's one layer, like one row, and there's another one, and all the floor is covered with the plastic as well. All right, guys, so as I'm getting ready to spray, here's one important thing. Uh, I'm using a speed enamel, uh, basically direct to metal enamel uh, from Canadian store Cloverdale, which has some bad chemicals in it, but it cures dries and cures you know really fast so the uh, important thing about it is we got to use some good filters so these are the filters that we always use when it's not regular you know uh, wall paint or regular ceiling paint this is made for you know gases and like bad vapors and stuff like that so the number is 60 uh, 926 or 60926 or whatever it is just you know make sure that it has a red this pink stuff pink cover on it that's the right filter um, yeah that's super important regular filters I mean regular white 
uh, charcoal, fi charcoal filters is not enough to work with, you know, bad uh, chemicals, bad materials. Um, just wanted you to know that. All right, let's get to spraying. Quick thing, just wanted to show you. I run, I run these two yellow fans from Global Indus, Industries or Global Industrial or whatever it is, and these two yellow ducts going outside. So I need the filtration. I need the uh, the bad air. Also have these two, uh, you know, kind of cages uh, with the filters on them uh, to filtrate the air. And here's the gun. Here's the guy that that I'm using. It's a regular cup gun. Regular gravity feed uh, gun from Prona. Uh, it has a measuring cup on it and the good thing about it is uh, the uh, the cups are replaceable so disposable so I can basically take this thing off of the gun you know this thing here and without washing anything you know without cleaning it anything just you know throw it all out throw this stuff out and that's it just put the new one in and it's and it's ready to go. All I need to do is clean this gun, which is you know no big deal at all. And uh, another thing, uh, if the material is too thick, I use the silene. Um, you know the thinner. It's important to use the right thinner so it doesn't dry too fast or it doesn't you know make it dry too slow so it doesn't sag doesn't do anything bad to the viscosity of material. That's the right stuff to use with this uh, direct to metal enamel. And here's the paint that I'm using, it's Cloverdale. And it's uh, direct metal speed enamel, self-priming, um, industrial coating, solvent-based stuff. And uh, what's what's important about it? It's a one-component, fast-drying, uh, solvent-based enamel, self-sealing enamel, so it can spray over top of bare metal without putting the, uh, the first coat the primer on so it's basically ready to go I just have to thin it out and I'm good to go all right I must admit it wasn't easy but it's all done it's all good it's all dry and cured now it's looking pretty damn good from here it took all the walls uh, down, took all the plastic walls down in probably 20, 15, 20 minutes. So that was pretty, actually pretty easy. And uh, yeah, that's the final product. Super smooth, super durable, all down, all done and uh, ready to, we're ready to put the uh, mats back back down all of this will be covered there's going to be some padding and new fence but that's it for for my for my part for the painting part Whew, i'm glad how easy everything worked out and uh, i'm hoping that the the owner of the gym lance gibson will be happy with everything and uh, i actually think he is so that's, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Stay safe during this time. If you're watching it in March 20, 2020, stay positive, stay safe.